Welcome to another episode of Field Phone Ops. Today we're going to discuss the SB22 switchboard and the tone signaling adapter TA977-PT. A uh, very difficult item to find and uh, get on hand. So sit back and enjoy. And here we go. We're going to look at the TA977-PT. Uh, generally when they came, they uh, basically was designed to be stored inside the accessory kit for the SP22, which is your MX230. And basically what it did was it fit inside and basically you transported it with your line pack. Here's your line pack, here's your uh, your tone pack. Basically, these are the things you need and we'll get go ahead and pull this. And this is the, uh, the adapter, the tone signaling. This is it right here. Um, it was actually developed in the 1970s as the uh, Army and everybody started getting portable uh, automatic switchboards with dial capability in the field. They came up with this to give the lower echelon units of that SB22s the ability to have access to a dial switch. And this is it right here. Um, it's an aluminum case. It actually clips on the side of an SB22. We'll do that later. Um, holds a 9 volt battery. Uh, two field wire, a piece of field wire connect right here, and actually plugs into the terminals on the back of the SV22 labeled the emergency operator. And basically, all this does is produce the touch tone tones. That's all it does. It doesn't do anything else. So go ahead and I'll open it up. It opens up like this. It's spring loaded, so you open it up and it swings over. That piece swings like that, and it clips on the side of the switchboard, and that's how it basically works. And then you go ahead and we want to dial a phone number. But the most important part is this right here. This is a uh, trunk pack that you have to have to, to do it. I mean, it looks like a line pack. It's different. The differences are it has a uh, extra switch in it so that when you pull the cord out, it actually goes off hook, which allows you to hold it off hook when you plug in there. and. Uh, it appears onto a phone phone system as a as a telephone. Um, it'll ring, you know, the aisle drop, and if the switchboard is set up, you'll get your tones, and then you'll answer it by plugging in here. Or once you plug in here, you pull the cord out, and it stays off hook. Um, like I said, this is a SB22. It's designed to fit inside here. Um, we'll go ahead and I'll shut down. We'll hook the SB22 up, and we'll go ahead and we'll actually make some phone calls. Okay, I got my SB22 set up. I have the trunk card installed and I have the uh, TA955, the, the tone device hooked up to it. And I have a EE8 plugged into line pack number one to function as the, uh, the subscriber. All these subscriber phones on here are set for local battery, even though this is actually a common battery card. Then this trunk card right here is actually plugged into my home phone, so I can actually call between there and my my cell phone. So the first thing we'll demonstrate is we'll make a call from the cell phone into the switch and I'll go ahead and it will transfer it to the uh, E8 to simulate a call coming in and the first one to talk to a subscriber that's on a field phone. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll dial the SP22 and there you go you hear the, the, the audio alarm the eye flashes. I'm going to go ahead and answer it. You can hear it ringing on my cell phone. So I'm going to plug in and answer it. Test one, two. Okay, got it on my phone. Now, the guy on the phone is going to tell me, hey, I need to talk to so-and-so. And I'm going to look at my thing and say, oh, he's down here at this position. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and pull the trunk line out like this. And what this does is this basically puts the trunk card on hold. I'm going to take this, my operator cord, I'm going to plug into the E8. I'm going to call him. Okay, calling him. He's going to answer. I'm going to tell him, hey, I got a phone call to you from so and so. He's going to say, okay. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pull the operator card out. Plug that in there. Go like that. And guess what? 
the E8 is now talking through the switchboard to my home phone network over the phone system to the, the phone right there. Now the only problem with this, this system set up like this is you can't really ring back to tell me when the phone call is done. So on occasion I'm going to have to plug in to the, the, the jack and right here and see if the phone call is still going on. Listen, say, hey, what's going on? Still talking? Okay. I'm going to plug it right back in like that. Okay. Um, eventually after that's going on long enough and he's done, we're going to go ahead and I find out the call's done. I'll go ahead and pull this. Puts that back on the line and then we're back on hook. We're ready to receive phone calls. Okay, now I'll go ahead and demonstrate the... Uh, this guy calling me, telling me, hey, I need to make an outside phone call. Can you dial a phone number for me? So how that operates is similar. So what he'll do is he'll pick his phone up. Ignore that. And he's going to call the switch. Okay, you can see he just called me right there. I'm going to take the operator cord, go like this. Tesla 2, hey, this is the operator. What do you need? Hey, this is the operator. What do you need? He's going to say, hey, I need to make a phone number, or a phone call to this number, an outside phone line. I say, okay, write the phone number down. Then I go ahead, and I'll go ahead. Since he can't do any dialing on here, I've got to do it for him. I'm going to take his cord right here, and we're going to plug in right there. And we just took the trunk card off hook. Oh, we got dialed one on this phone. And this phone, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to dial quick. Okay, the phone's ring when they answer it. Bring my cell phone. There we go, put on speaker. Operator's gonna say, okay, here you go, the phone, he, the call's been made, the guy's gonna talk. He's gonna test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Talking on the E8 over all this. Through the phone system to the cell phone. Operator's gonna say, okay, you got the call. The operator's gonna unplug. And go back to doing operator things, whatever he's going to do. He's talking back and forth, calling around and that. In the same situation here, um, he can't ring back, so the operator just on occasion is going to have to plug into the and say, Hey, is the phone call still going on? Monitor what's going on? Yeah. Back and forth till he finds it's done. When it's finally determined, he checks and sees the phone call is done. He goes ahead and he pulls the cord like this, and that hangs up the trunk card and it goes inside there. And that's pretty much it, pretty basic. Um, it's possible to make a phone call. If you wanted to bring another party in, you could just patch in. So if you had one guy like this and somebody else wanted to bring him coming on the call, you'd just go ahead and plug them in like this. So you could bring multiple parties in. Um, the trunk card will also operate on a non-dial tone switch. So if you had a switchboard set up that would, didn't have dial tone on it, and you hooked up and you took this off hook, it would show a light on the, the operator console that, hey, this line, this trunk line is off hook and answer it and do whatever he's got to do. That's a little problem we have, like get false rings. And that's pretty much how it works. Pretty basic system, um, pretty durable and sturdy. And uh, I'd like to give, a uh, main thing I want to do is, like I said, I want to give a shout out to Pete at the signalcenter.com. Awesome guy, awesome sites. Got SB22 parts, TA312 parts, uh, anything you can think you need for your phone. He can pretty much get you in co complete systems. Great guy, good price, will help you out anything you can. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.